Hey, what is up YouTube? So in today's video, we're gonna talk to you about how you can use AI tools to make your own music video, how I made right here. So as you could see in this music video, we have a model, we have my name out here, Salvi Poppy in the background. We have various different scenes right here, as you could see. And that's what I'm gonna teach you how to do, right? We're gonna teach you how you can be creative with these new and upcoming AI tools. Now. If you're someone like me, you can get very overwhelmed easily and um, that could be an issue. So my goal as well in this video, apart from teaching you how to get started, is to also make you not get overwhelmed by this upcoming and emerging technology. So for example, right, you search for video generation tools, you could find stuff like uh, Veil2, which not everybody has, only a certain few in the community have right now. You search a Pika Labs, and for some reason, there's all these random links that, like, for example, right here, you have this right here, and then you get, yeah, you see what I'm saying? It just, it's just weird right now. The whole industry's like weird right now, but I'm going to go with two options for you, and we're not going to complicate it. So, to start off, if you have a lot of patience and you have some money to spare, because this still is not something that's really free for everyone to like really try out and make into a music video you have to pay so that's the thing you're paying the founder's fee at this point so there's two options that i give for people that want to try out uh, video generation tools which is cling ai which as you could see i have not paid for <laughs> but uh we'll check stuff out right let's check something out from the videos that i've made in the past i've noticed that cling ai does take a while to get the videos generated but here's the catch once that video is generated which takes usually about three minutes it is very good so what do i mean by that so what i mean is that you're most likely not going to generate a pile of crap and the like as long as you're very specific with how you're prompting which means being uh, very descriptive of what you want that person to do and an important thing, right, once you select your video generation tool, in, in this case, we're going to go with Runway, you need to read the documentation. Now, a lot of people might say, oh, let's just go on ChatGPT and just make them come up with a prompt. Fair enough, but ChatGPT gets confused as well. So that not everything is going to be exactly how ChatGPT is going to describe it. So don't, like I said, ChatGPT is a good tool, but don't use it as a crutch, really. You got to read the documentation, understand the prompting, because the prompting is different when it comes to using these tools. Now, in my case, I do suggest if you have some money to spare, you upgrade to unlimited plan, not the yearly, because I do not have that money to be spending like that. I, and I, you know, I suggest unlimited for right now, if this is something you really want, because guess what? This is going to take a lot of credits. And also all this right here, for example, the 35 a month, $15 a month, you're going to be throwing away your money. You're going to be throwing away your money due to the fact that you don't have unlimited access to generations. You don't have unlimited access to truly finding the right scene that you want to do. And we're going to go through the examples right now of what I mean by that. So let's see. An, an example here, if we pick up with what I've done in the past. Let's see. So here's another thing that I'm not too much of a fan of when it comes to this layout. We're not right over here birds of a feather okay so as you could see this is a music video that's one minute and 51 seconds long you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 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 shots and look how many scenes we have get used to that so this like i said this is an emerging technology like this is literally not perfect so you're gonna be paying for stuff that is experimental now what do i mean by that i mean that um due to the fact that you're limited with the uh, like how long video could be generated for and the fact that you're not going to get the perfect scene every single time like for example <laughs> I think I was looking for, I wanted to get like a distressed person, right? And, or like they're laying in bed, someone that's heartbroken laying in bed. And look, this girl, 
This girl has what's going on right here. You don't even get ready to laugh by yourself in your room or something because that's what's really going to be happening. And then you're going to have like weird crap like this coming out. Like, I think, let's see, I think we still have access to the prompt. Nighttime 1950s neon sign that spells my name in forefront. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Get used to that because this is an emerging technology. Now, if I could go back and shorten the amount of random crap that I generated, I would suggest having a filmmaker's mindset. What I mean by that is having a storyboard. Try to have a storyboard already in place. If you want to challenge yourself, right, I really suggest this. To challenge yourself, I would say give yourself a project, right? Let's say you have a favorite song and, and there's a specific way how this song makes you feel. Make a music video for it. Yes, it won't be monetized, but you cannot approach this right now as I just want to monetize 100%. Right now, it's almost like you're taking an internship and you have to just do it for fun. Do it for fun, learn as much as you can, and keep on going back and forth with the prompting, right? For example, I start off with frames. Frames is, so yeah, like I said, it's only available for Unlimited and Enterprise, but frames saves you a ton of time, and it would be very unnecessary to use something like Mid Journey, especially when it comes down to making something like a music video, I think. Runway did a pretty good job in setting up the image generation machine learning behind the scenes so that it could process very cool images for you, especially for the context of music videos. Like, for example, there's there are th this one. This is the one I like that didn't make the cut for the music video. Like, I really love the fact that I was able to make like a glass coffin with a girl inside it. And it just didn't make sense at the end of the day how to make the shots go in sync with each other. But what I ended up doing is I added, if we go right here, I added it right here instead, a close-up shot. So that's important. I would suggest, like I said, have a storyboard when it comes down to showing your video idea besides like randomly prompting away and typing on your keyboard, right? You don't want to do that. So... That being said, stick with Runway, have a storyboard, and have a lot of patience because guess what? It's going to take weeks right now. Every single scene is five to five, 10 seconds long. This isn't something that you're going to have to have with a mentality like, I want to do everything right now. Like, it's not going to happen. And be aware as well that there are some limitations to what is actually able to be generated, right? For example, if you want to show someone like a girl wearing a bikini or whatever, it's not going to do that and you're going to get flagged for it. Another thing too, right? I wanted to get a scene right here. In this case, a girl in the middle of the ocean, like almost like deep in the ocean and just like floating blissfully inside it. But Chachi, not Chachi PT, I'm sorry. But Runway doesn't really do that. So what Runway does is that they show you the girl floating near surface level. So there are limitations uh, as far as the type of images that you want to have. And like I said, be aware of these little weird images that are going to happen. And that's the thing, right? That's the issue when it comes down to these type of video generation, <laughs> these video generation tools, because you're paying for credits to generate these videos, generate these images, and most of them come out terrible. And then some of them come out like not really what you wanted, right? I wanted something like this, but I wanted the surface of that water to not be present. But that's that's just the tools right now. And sometimes it looks good, right? Until you start zooming in and you're like, what the hell is going on right here? Like, how is the nail on this side of her thumb? How is this even working? Like it looks good for, ex and that's something you gotta be very aware of, right? There's some certain images that do pop up, but it's not gonna look good. Okay, so let's say that you've had the patience, you've gone through everything that you've had to go through. Now, what do you do? First, let's give you an example before we even move on. So let's go right over here. We go to home and let's try out frames, right? For frames, uh, my 
way of thinking about building frames is you really got to be extremely creative. And there was an advice I heard when it comes to making AI tools. Don't limit yourself to reality. This is why these video generation tools exist. You do not want to mimic reality too much. You want to do something extremely spontaneous, extremely out of the ordinary. Let's see, what can I come up with right now? We could have something like this, right? Let's give it a try. Let's see, like Eskimo, Eskimo outfit. So I want to make sure so the image comes to life. So this is something that literally is popping up in my head right now. And I want to do something like this. Eskimo outfit in a Paris fashion week runway. Something simple, right? For the example right now that I'm trying to give you. So remember, that we're recording this right now live. There's not going to be any edits because I don't have time to really edit. You're literally seeing how long this takes. So it's loading. You're waiting and get used to this. Please remember, get used to stuff like this because this is part of the work for float process. And this is the, the raw unedited reality when it comes to video AI generations. You might see very cool videos in like on YouTube, but this is practically the workflow right here. So you start seeing stuff like this and then you start realizing right now, for example, what the hell does this have to do with something like this? Absolutely nothing. So that, that's what I'm trying to say. There's certain things that it can do and certain things that it cannot do. Let's make something very simple. Dog inside a rocket ship with the background within the wind background showing a window that has a clear view of Mars. Let's see what it comes up with, right? I'm not the perfect prompt engineer, but what I'm trying to get out of this video with you guys is to show you exactly how this is. This is something that takes time. Yeah, this is something that literally takes time and you have to, like I said, avoid what I'm doing right now, which is doing random generations. Give yourself that time to express yourself creatively by creating a storyboard and then start doing the prompting because that's going to be your guidance. That's going to be like your compass of your vision. Because if you go step by step, like a building block type of method, I think, in my opinion, you're going to be wasting a lot of time when it comes to creating music videos generated by AI, when it comes to creating regular videos, etc. Like you have to have this pre-planned. And you have to, like I said, remember, you have to read the documentation as well, right? Like you could do something as simple as a sentence or you could do something as a detailed as almost like a paragraph when it comes to prompting. You, you see what I'm saying? Like the difference is like we're used to prompting like chat GPT way when in reality you have to prompt almost like if you are a director visually. No, oh, even better, right? Like now we have a better way. It's a more visual, descriptive way. A dog inside a rocket ship with the background showing a window that has a clear view of Mars. So as you could see, this is practically good enough for me. If I was to make a video about this, we could see that. Why don't we do this one? So now we could see the whole concept of what we can do. I like this one, so we're going to go with this. So we're going to go, remember, we have to start thinking like a director. If we're limited to 10 seconds, that means that we need to prompt only for a 10 second duration. Be realistic as well. What can you in the real life do that would you be comfortable in doing naturally within 10 seconds? Now that we have the image, now we're here to prompt the video. Right. So in this case that we're going to be prompting the video, we could be we could say something. Our rocket ship gets closer to Mars as dog slowly floats in the air. Let's see what it comes up with. Right. We're going to go with turbo. These are different models of video generation and unlimited. We're going to try to see if I have some credits. 
Let's see, because I want to show it to you very fast. This is something, like I said, when it comes to making images, when it comes to making videos, this is a reality that you're going to go through. And I'm using my credits right now to generate this video. But if you were to use the unlimited mode, it would be way longer, unfortunately. We're waiting. And let's see what it comes up with. Okay, let's see. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. So it didn't necessarily do the right thing, but you get the gist of it, right? You get the gist of what I'm trying to what I'm trying to portray here. Now, once you have all these clips, what do you do? Simple method. You're gonna download. I recommend downloading this uh, free video editor called DaVinci, and you're gonna start layering them up layer them up, start cutting, start editing, start doing all that fun stuff that is going to allow you to visually portray, in my case, this music video, um, scene by scene, match the beats that are going on. Like I said, I'm not perfect, but I'm sharing with you what made it work for me. So you could see the various amounts of different shots that I had. And you might be asking yourself, like, how do I get a shot? this close with the same person right here what i ended up doing is i ended up looking into this thing called the camera so the camera allows you to control the way how the video is being presented so for example like we could zoom in i don't recommend you zooming in too much either because that is going to cause some issues let's see we're going to try to get this going again so giving you a quick example of what this and tells now remember this is a very long youtube video it's not meant to be long but this is the reality of what it takes to generate videos on ai and i'm showing you the uncut edition right now and i'm hoping that if you're able to get anything from this please leave a comment leave a like and let me know what you think because this is something that i would love for more people to get involved in that way these companies can get motivated one to drop the damn price of what it takes to generate these videos and two, to be a lot quicker at doing it very soon. So as you can see, that's what the camera does, doing these close-up shots, you can do tilts, etc. All right, I think I've said enough. It's like I said, it's not the perfect video, but it is a guidance to help those individuals who are still considering of how do you do this or what type of work tools like workflow should I have? What type of AI tool should I have? I, I think I made it extremely simple. That way you could get started. But if you guys want a more descriptive type of tutorial or something like that, please let me know. Like I said, this is just like the guidance to the type of workflow that I've personally used and that's worked for me. And if you have a better workflow than what I'm doing right now, please let me know. I'd be more than willing to try it out. Thank you so much. I hope you could give this video a thumbs up. I hope you could subscribe to it and I'll see you next time.